What up, Fortnite fam? It's your boy, Matt, back again to bring you the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you a better Fortnite player. Today, we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane. Whose memories are these? That's right, they're yours, for the most part. This was you during the last match. You did pretty good out there, but you may have made a few slip-ups. Luckily, we're here to teach you what to look out for on your next VOD review and even how to get started if you've never done it before. Are you ready? Here we go! So before we begin, you might be wondering where you can access your VOD reviews. First, start by going to your game settings and making sure that you have record replays switched on. Next, you're going to want to head over to the career tab on the main menu. There you will see an option to view your replays. You will have your last five games temporarily stored here until they eventually cycle out. However, you'll be able to keep the ones you want by naming them and saving them. So keep that in mind and save what you want to look over right after the match ends rather than jumping straight back in. With that, we can begin today's lesson. One of the most annoying things that can happen to you in a competitive game is getting beamed and eliminated before you even have a chance to react. Maybe you're in the middle of looting, or you exit a building only to find yourself in such a situation. Fortnite doesn't offer kill cams like some other games do, but the ability to VOD review will allow you to see exactly what went down at that moment in time. The questions you should be asking yourself are, where did that enemy come from? Why did I not notice? Did your opponent get you from a long range, or did they get up and close to you? Often when this happens, it's easy to say that the enemy killed you came out of nowhere. However, often it will actually be you, the player, who missed some cues that could have allowed you to anticipate the ambush. In the early game, it is easy to lose focus when you've just landed and you're scrambling for loot. This is especially true if you land in one of the major POIs. When landing, you need to take a look around you at the players that may be landing first, as well as the players that might be landing soon after you. Make sure to keep your ears on high alert, since the gunshots of other players fighting will give away their location and allow you to get a general idea of where the other players are during this time. Don't let them catch you by surprise. Instead, be the one that goes on the hunt, so you can get those first shots in and have a better chance at clearing the area. As the game progresses, the player density will decrease as more of them have been eliminated. However, this doesn't mean that you can let your guard down. Your opponents will be better equipped by now and might have some long-range weapons in their arsenal. If you get beamed or taken down from afar, you need to VOD review those instances so you can spot where the enemy came from. Perhaps they were in the distance and you could have spotted them if you had noticed the movement. Or maybe you couldn't have seen them but they could easily spot you. Essentially, pay attention, use the environment for cover, and don't get distracted. Hey, are you struggling to climb the ranks of Fortnite's arena mode? Or are you just tired of never walking away with the victory royale? Visit the link in the description right now and visit ProGuides.com, where our world-class coaches are ready and waiting to give you the one-on-one -on -one coaching that you need to improve fast. No matter what level you are or how far you want to go, our pro coaches will help you realize your potential. There is a lot more that goes into aim than getting your crosshairs on your opponents. If you find yourself engaging your opponents but missing more shots than you'd like, then there is probably something wrong with your aim. When VOD reviewing this aspect of your gameplay, it is often best that you slow down the footage so you can spot the little inconsistencies that threw you off. So, take a moment to look over all the fights in a single game and focus on these specific moments. When you engage an enemy, do your crosshairs immediately land over the target? Are you able to keep up with their movements? What distance away are you from your opponent? Are you having a close range fight or a long range fight? All these questions and more make up examples of what you should be trying to improve. For example, say you are really good at getting that one hit pump. However, when you try to engage your opponent with the AR, suddenly you aren't getting kills. It could be that you're good at getting the crosshair on your opponent, however the consistency and automatic fire rate of the AR is throwing you off. One good strategy for fights is to jump while maintaining accuracy. This makes you a harder target to hit and makes you a much more unpredictable opponent to go up against. However, while jumping comes naturally, sometimes you need extra practice in staying accurate while moving around. Once again, take the time to VOD review, because this will reveal if your accuracy is better when you're standing still, and if it stays consistent when you're moving. If not, then you've found another problem with your aiming mechanics. Now that you've identified it, you can get to work in patching it up. 
Another tasty piece of information that you can get out of your VOD reviews are your personal weaknesses when it comes to edits. There are so many types of edits to use in different situations, so it's only natural that you might make a few mistakes along the way. For example, you might be good at making window edits, however you do poorly when trying to get that side edit. When you VOD review, this gives you an opportunity to examine what edits you use during different scenarios. Perhaps you lean too much on a specific edit, or maybe you have the timing wrong whenever you try to do that peak. If you have the timing wrong, then this is why that specific edit comes out wrong every single time. With this information at hand, you should be able to identify the edits that come easy for you and the ones that you have trouble with. Now all you need to do to rectify the situation is practice doing the edit until you get it right. This will reinforce your skill and you'll find yourself making those mistakes less often. VOD reviewing isn't only about slowing down your gameplay to look at the details of your fights. You also need to analyze the match as a whole. Every decision from where you land to where you rotate after you've set up is of the utmost importance. How exactly are you preparing yourself to tackle the next phase of the match? So let's take this step by step. When you landed, did you have an optimal landing spot? One good strategy is to land next to chests so that you can have better chances of getting an immediate weapon for your loadout, as well as some other useful items. However, you can also look at the floor loot from above. Remember, landing isn't just about finding a perfect spot to land on. It's about assessing the area as a whole so you know what to expect and what items you can go for upon landing. Now, continue your review. How long did you stay in that starting area? It can be tempting to stick around once all the players are gone and going after every last chest. Who knows, maybe there's a purple or golden weapon and you just haven't found it yet. Well, you need to scratch that idea. If you are playing a competitive match, then you need to be able to clean house quickly and move on to your next area. If you spend too much time here, you could end up getting trapped by the storm, or worse, you could find yourself running away leaving you open for players who want to catch you as you try to get back into the safety of the circle. Instead, plan out your landing spot, and as soon as you have that full loadout, head immediately to the next spot on your rotation. Rather than be the victim getting picked off, take the time to position yourself in a good spot where you can keep track of and eliminate players who didn't rotate quick enough. One of the trickiest places to VOD review is the end game. In competitive, this can become a hectic place where your ability to edit and piece control will become crucial to your success. For this VOD review tip, you want to make sure you are not only making the right edits, but that you're in a good position strategically. During this hectic time of building, you're going to have opponents below you, above you, as well as tunneling through the same height as you. If you get demolished during this phase of the game, then one place to start will be checking your position during the fight. Did you get caught by surprise from above, or did you tunnel right into the middle of a group of players? Try changing your tactics so you can easily gain the higher ground in these situations, or better yet, see what cues you missed that might have tipped you off that you were tunneling toward danger. Here is a tip you need to remember when VOD reviewing. Looking at your own gameplay can provide plenty of insight into what your flaws are. However, did you know that VOD reviewing the pros will show you what you could be doing? See, the pros are great at what they do. In fact, they are leagues ahead of you in terms of skill. However, thanks to VOD reviews, you can look at the footage for recent tournaments and then watch the pros in action. Keep in mind that they are very different players from you and will make vastly different decisions than you do in any given situation. By VOD reviewing a pro, you can see the type of edits they make and when. You can see how they loot and what paths they choose to rotate in. You can also get a glimpse at their thought patterns as they try to use peace control to take down their opponents. Take note of the strategies they use and plan to implement those same moves and strategies into your own game. If you can't find the VOD reviews that you're looking for, you can always watch them stream and see how they communicate with each other. This can also provide additional information to their thought process. That's all for the day, Fortnite fam. Did you enjoy today's video? If so, be sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest tips and tropes that will make you a better Fortnite player. Once again, I'm your boy Matt, hoping you have a successful and productive VOD review.